Hello and welcome. Decision theory and now we are going to discuss something about presentation of a decision problem. That means in which way the decision problem can be presented. Mainly there are two ways of presenting a decision problem. One is called payoff table or payoff matrix and another is called decision tree. Let's first discuss about the payoff table or payoff matrix. Generally the payoff term is used when the outcome of or rather the outcomes of any decision problem are either profits or gains. This is a simple most payoff matrix or payoff table. It is a tabular summary of all elements of a decision problem. This column shows the two possible alternatives or actions or acts or strategies out of which the decision maker need to select any one or only one at a time. We can present these two in the columnar form also and we can also present the states of nature in this column also. It is not mandatory to present action here and state of nature here only. We can interchange them also. These are states of nature. That means set of chance events, possibilities. They are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. With each and every action, only these two states of nature or possibilities are there or rather attached to them. Rain or no rain. To hire outdoor stadium, to hire indoor stadium, there are two possibilities, rain or no rain. This is a two-dimensional matrix or table. The best thing with this type of payoff matrix is Whatever number of possible alternatives or whatever number of possible states of nature can be easily included in the payoff matrix. Say instead of 2, there are 10 possible alternatives or actions or acts or strategies. We can easily include them. Similarly, if there are 5, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or more possibilities, mutually exclusive and exhaustive. They can be easily included in the payoff matrix. And for all combinations of actions and states of nature, the outcomes or results can easily be expressed. <coughs> yes. So this is payoff matrix. Another style or way of presenting a decision problem is decision tree. It looks like a tree grown from a wall. This is called square node and these are called circular nodes. The square nodes, rather the square node is a starting point. And from square node, the two branches are the possible alternatives. So, the starting point square node and from the square node, the branches of alternatives are grown. Yes. There are two alternatives. So there are only two branches. And at the end of these alternative branches, there are circular nodes. And circular nodes are actually, they have say two way roll. They are end point of the alternative branches and starting point of the states of nature branches. So, the states of all possible states of nature grow from the circular node at the end of alternative branch. We can see that rent and outdoor stadium, rent and outdoor stadium, there are two possibilities, rain or no rain, rain or no rain. These are two mutually exclusive and exhaustive states of nature. Yes. Similarly, another alternative is rent and indoor stadium and again there are two possibilities, there will be rain or there will not be rain. But the main thing sometimes as a student 
we need to arrive at some conclusion which is better as a student i prefer or even as a teacher or as a researcher i prefer payoff matrix way of presenting the decision problem because the decision tree becomes very say complex or complicated where there are too many available alternatives and there are too many possible states of nature just imagine instead of two there are four alternatives and instead of two there are three or four states of nature attached to all the alternatives the preparation as well as the interpretation of the decision tree will become somewhat complicated so we can conclude that whether it is a decision problem in which we are going to use probability or not the this pair of matrix or pair of table is actually a user friendly way of presenting decision problem not only that this presentation is comparatively very easy to understand even a layman who is not involved in decision making problem problem can also understand the pair of matrix very easily so these are the two ways of presentation of a decision problem pair of matrix and decision tree that's it thank you very much